he would start for the Canadians, and that is the lineup that Luke Richardson has up front to start. Second with the point line, so you've made the point line go third, but Deneau came out expecting it, and now it's this line. Here comes Chernak, who scored the opening goal of game number one, and that deflects up and out of play. And they have vowed they'll be better here tonight. John Merrill across, and Matthew Joseph on the ice. Here's a breakaway pass. It's Suzuki in, and down went Vasilevsky to make the save. Gets a great pass here from Edmondson with some speed. A right-hander coming down, tried to fake the shot, but look at the quick react. Goodrow lost it, played a hit by Toffoli. Suzuki knocks it back to Toffoli in, and a backhand stop, the rebound. Caulfield from a sharp angle, struck away by Vasilevsky. Caulfield again will try it, and Goodrow blocked that. A big kill, get going the other end. Toffoli with the backhand, Suzuki with the rebound, and then Caulfield on the doorstep, tried to go up. Kucherov's got it. Victor Hedman at the top. Kucherov, the one-timer right on. Rebound high in the air. Stamkos found it first. And now to the former Montreal Canadian Sergachev. Kucherov gives it back, gets it back, and fires right on. Price tracking that all the way. Face-off wins for Deneau, leading the league in that. But a face-off win by the Lightning. Caulfield sends it out, and it's a break for Toffoli. Chernak trying to get back, and Toffoli stopped by Vasilevsky off the shoulders. You know what the coaches want. I think all the fans want to see a little bit of this. End-to-end -end action. You get a block shot by Toffoli. He jumps past McDonough. Knows that he's getting pressure from the... That's a force, and that's big news for the Lightning that... Mikhail Sergachev is back to start this second period as we watched him limp to the dressing room after 20 minutes. Canadians start the second period on the power play. Toffoli, his pass comes across, and now it's set up down low for a pass in front for Perry on the doorstep, but loose in the front of the net. I thought in game one it wasn't a real challenging one for Vasilevsky, but there's the good stick that didn't allow the puck to get to Perry. And Ruta. Down the right boards, Tyler Johnson is on it. Johnson who cleared waivers back at the start of the season, scores from the point, Sorelli, and the Lightning have struck first. And this is a shot that you just wonder if Terry Price never really got a view of. Johnson does a nice job of keeping it in play, and oh yeah, four guys through. Just a wrister that Price reacts too late and it goes underneath him. You've got Perry, you've got Petrie, you've got Merrill. Nobody able to get the shooting lane. Might have ticked off Merrill up high. And this will be a better look there. Oh, it just goes right through and then off the blocker and underneath. Sorelli allowed to stay in. From the draw. It'll come back to Suzuki. Canadians get a good bounce score. Swept by Perry, but it looks like it's Nick Suzuki who's tied it on the power play. So here on the win, watch the adjustment that Tampa does. Gord goes right after Caulfield, takes him away. That leaves Perry in front. I, I'm not even sure Perry touched it. It's another one that just filters its way through. Two swings at it. McDonough was trying to get it. Perry was as well. Look at the reaction of Vasilevsky. Looking up and around the traffic in front, and he just misses this one five hole. I said about the importance of Timing of your power play goal. There's a rolling puck that Perry doesn't even touch. Vasilevsky can't believe it. Better to know is there, and Stamkos lost his stick. Here's a pass for Gallagher. Knocked down. A Mio shot. Loose in front of the net. And Deneau couldn't get a stick on it. And wild pile up in front. Edmondson knocked down. Hit by Edmondson. Merrill tied up by Kucherov. Stick came up, and the fans react as Kucherov got clipped. But no call, and Josh Anderson allowed to walk in to the net. Vasilevsky stopped back. Anderson does a great job to the outside, tries to take it in, looked like he had five hole. Jay Weber for Deneau. Good throw, maybe one last chance. Centers, score! They beat the buzzer! And it's Blake Coleman. A back-breaking goal. Clock. And you've got 
the right four people out on the ice. There's the clock above. No question that this one's going to count. Sherratt and Weber on the back end. You've got Deneau in a position with Stahl and Toffoli, but this is something that just can't happen. How about the effort, though, of Coleman? Just gives his body up, makes sure, watch his hands. All he's concerned about is swinging on that one. You've got a defender in Deneau trying to come back and knock it to the left. Coleman gets enough of it to get it back towards the net, and it goes underneath the blocker of Price. A tough stage in game one, minus three. All the talk about the matchups. How about his first two periods here of game two? A great response and one more period to go. Well, the Canadians have talked about having a short memory. Can they forget that goal and get back to the way they were playing? Gord drives the lane, and it's flicked away by Price. Yanni Gord in behind the net, trying to center in front, and Price with a big stop off Coleman, who was loose in front again. And then your very first shift, the chip to Yanni Gord, and then in front, look at he tried to just get enough on that as he was falling away. And it's scooped ahead, and it's a break. And knocked away from Goodrow as Shea Weber got back. But here's Coleman. Well, stopped by Carey Price as Coleman has another glorious chance. It takes some chances in the offensive zone. D trying to come back. Weber does a great job of getting the stick in there. But a good recovery is that one gets right back onto the stick of Coleman. Gord in the face of Carey Price. And Price unable to get that one at the end of the second period. He's got the glove save at the top of the... Now Pallott steps up and he comes up with a puck and flips it back in. Edmondson reversed the grab, scores! Andre Pallott read the play and it's 3-1 late. This deep in the corner was Petrie, watch 26, he's coming back. Does he give a yell and that's just a great read by Pallott who gets there first. You can tell the reaction of Edmondson. He didn't put it far enough back. Maybe a bad angle. Yeah, that's a soft one just off to the side. Look at see how far Petrie was, and Price wasn't expecting it. Often as a goaltender, you know your D are going to go D to D reverse, but he doesn't react to it. He's still looking the other way, and that one's a bank in off the right skate of Carey Price as Palat makes it 3-1. to one. Ben Sherratt. He'll play the harem in front, and that one, Perry with a whack at it, and then another as he gets knocked from the front of the net. Shooting lane is taken away by, what, four or five bodies there? This is, the rebound was there for the taking, and Perry, as he does, right in the doorstep, tried to get it. He gets scolded by the official, but why not? There's trying to sneak it through. You do anything you can to get towards that net. Vasilevsky once again. And the lightning will have a two 